Sierra Leone has been endowed by very significant marine resources. We are on the Atlantic. We also have a lot of inland rivers and waterways that are also full of aquatic life. Unfortunately, for almost a 20-year period, fish products from Sierra Leone have not been allowed to enter certain markets because we've not been able to meet various food safety and standards required by those markets. The sad news is our fish, our marine uh, waters are being ravaged by foreign vessels every day, poaching in our waters, taking the fish away and overfishing. With the support of the Russian government, the Sierra Leone government has decided through UNIDO to rebuild what used to exist here up to 20 years ago, a fisheries and marine trading school. This institution will build capacity on various aspects of uh, fisheries management, particularly industrial fisheries management. It has been welcomed by the government. The, the president has indicated his, his interest to do the groundbreaking ceremony. The government is very pleased that in fact, the first training school was built by the Russian government. So this is rebuilding what existed before, but with the war it was destroyed. In fact, if you go back 40 years, Sierra Leone used to be the hub for aquatic and marine uh, uh, resources management training for a number of British colonies in this West Africa. So basically, we're investing in institution building, but also in agribusiness management, because for a while we have considered uh, fisheries as part of our agribusiness development strategy in this country. Also, about 40% of our population depends on this marine life for their main protein source. So you can see the health dimension of, of, of uh, this institution. So we'll be doing a number of courses on industrial fisheries management, on marine systems and ecosystems management, food safety certification and accreditation uh, practices, and, uh, and hygiene, basic hygiene in handling. Um, we know now that the ban on exports will be lifted. I've been informed by the government that the ban on exports um, into various markets will be lifted in probably in 2012 and we are very confident that this institution will be fully operational and running by the end of 2012. So again UNIDO as an, an implementing agency we hope our partnership with the Russian government will in fact catalyze Sierra Leone's reemergence into the trade. We have some of the best lobsters and shrimp in the world. We know it because we know the ships that are poaching in our waters are from various markets. However, more importantly, what is our concern is sustainability. A number of these illegal ships are, are, are reducing the, the replenishment rates in these marine waters. And we know what has happened in Somalia already. Former fishermen are becoming pirates. We in Sierra Leone, we want to manage our marine resources because they are renewable. And this institution, training institution, will be right in the middle of that strategy to create wealth and create opportunities for our people in this country to also meet their protein demands.